In this video, we are going to solve problem involving normal distribution. So the problem is, the final exam scores in a statistics class were normally distributed with a mean of 63 and a standard deviation of 5. Find the probability that a randomly selected student scored more than 65 on the exam. Find the 90th percentile and find the 70th percentile. Okay, let's start with the first item. So, we are looking at the probability that the score is more than 65. This means that, at first we identify the value given. So, the population mean uh, is 63 and the population standard deviation is 5. We are required to find the probability that x is greater than 65. So the first step is to convert 65 in terms of z score. So we use the formula z is equal to the x minus the mean over standard deviation. Our x is 65 minus the mean 63 divided by the standard deviation 5. And that's equal to 2 fifth which is 0 0.4 or 0 0.40 in decimal. Okay? Then we are looking at the probability that Z is greater than 0 0.40. If we draw the normal curve, it looks like this. So this is our Z, 0 0.40 approximate. So greater than, so we have to a sheet this portion greater than so to find the area of this one we have to subtract the area uh, at z is equal to 0 0.4 this portion from 0 0.5 because half of that the area of the normal curve is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 minus the area at z is equal to 0 0.40 which is uh, this one 0.40 so that is 0 0.1554. So 0 0.1554. And therefore that is equivalent to uh, 0.5 minus 0.1554. That is equal to 0.3446. 0 0.3446. Or six, or if you want, you can express this in the in percentage that is thirty four point forty six percent. So the probability that a randomly selected student scored more than sixty five is just thirty four point forty six percent. Okay, how about the second problem? Find the ninetieth percentile, uh, of the distribution. What does this mean? 90th percentile mean it's finding the score K that has a 90% uh, of the scores below K. So uh, we are going to the, the value which is 90% uh, of that is below that value. Okay. So what we're going to do here first is to draw the normal curve to to illustrate what does 90th percentile mean okay 90 percent is below that k okay so we assume that this is at uh, this 50 percent we add 40 this one so this is the area that we are going to consider so that is 90 percent so this is so this is at the 50 percent and this portion is the 40%, making you uh, 50%, making the graph, the normal curve shaded portion 90%. And then we have to solve for this C. So we're going to find the, the value of C that is an area which is approximately 40% because we have to consider this portion only from zero or from the mean to Z because this is. Uh, we can neglect this half portion because the table that we are going to use is the uh, is that the 
table that gives the area from 0 to C only. So 40%. So this 40% is equivalent to 0 0.40. So we are going to find the, the value of C that gives an area which is very close to 0.40. And that is this one. This is very close to 0.40, right? 0.3997. So the Z value that corresponds to the area 0.3997 is just 1.28. So the Z that we are looking at is 1.28. Okay? So what's the 98th percentile of this? So we are going to solve for X given that Z is 1.28, mean is 63, and the standard deviation is 5. So recall that to solve for Z, we use this formula. But if we're going to solve for x, we have x is equal to z times the standard deviation plus the mean. We just multiply it, uh, this sigma here, z times sigma, so z times sigma, then negative, we transpose plus. So just substitute our z is 1.28 times standard deviation of 5 plus our population means 63 okay so x is just equal to uh, 1.28 times 5 plus 63 and that is equal to 69.4 so there, there uh, this is the 98th percentile so 69.4 what does this mean uh, 90% uh, of the, the students got a score below 69.4. Okay? So let's have another one. How about the 70th percentile? So for the 70th percentile, uh, we draw the normal curve again. This one, this is 50%. We add 20%. So this is 70th percentile, okay? So this are Z. So we have, this is what? 20% or 020. So we, what we are going to do is to look for uh, for Z that has an area of where, uh, closest to 020. And that is, uh, this is 0.1985. The difference is 15 like that. Decimal of 15, this is a decimal of 19, so this is very close to 0 0.20, and that is 0 0.52. So the Z that we are going to consider is 0 0.52. So we solve for X, that is Z times standard deviation plus the mean. So plug in the values, the RZ is 0 0.52 times standard deviation of 5 plus the mean so we have uh, we just change this to 0 0.52 okay so our, our answer is 65.6 so what does this mean so this means that 70 percent of the students who took out of the exam got a score less than 65.6 uh, six okay so that's how to solve problems involving a uh, normal distribution